Good morning, folks. We're zoomed in on some active regions that can't seem to produce any sunspots. Today we're going to discuss Enceladus, the cold dark matter theory, the grid, and the weather as our hopes for sunspots might lie beneath the umbral magnetic field seen arching over the eastern limb now. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star and it is utterly quiet. Dark coronal holes turning out on the north. No flaring without the sunspots, and now the solar wind is going to do its calming impression as well with both ACE and DISCOVER, showing telemetry of a waning stream. Geomagnetism is calm and should stay there today. The coronal holes just finished facing Earth, so more solar wind could be on the way for Sunday night or Monday in the more intense than normal realm. Let's lastly look at two coronal cavities coming over the northeastern limb, created by filament magnetism and always a splendor to see them artistically design the corona. We're moving on now to Enceladus, a world locked in water ice, with geothermal heating of a subsurface ocean and water vapor volcanoes at the South Pole. In today's link list, you have this video which explains the mission plan to seek microbes or microbe signals in the water jets, and they've got a great chance to find them. The video is from Caltech, and between the short clips I've shown here is a good deal of explanation and detail on the mission and the science involved. Up next, we have a dark matter theory that does comport with both the mainstream and the electrical, magnetic, plasma, and resonance theories of the universe. Rather than being exotic, if the matter we don't do a good job of detecting is simply cold and slow moving, we might stare right at it and never know it's there. Charge and flow, hidden in plain sight. We've also got linked for you today an interesting article about the power grid and its vulnerability, including to solar storms. And lastly, let's move on to weather where that alert for New Zealand a few days ago was hopefully well heated. Torrential downpours from an enormous low that spun overhead the last few days has inundated large portions of the island nation, leaving one of the worst floods to hit this area in recent memory. Cleanup begins as the system moves out. Folks, on today's episode of Fly on the Wall, we'll be announcing a titan of space weather coming to speak at the upcoming Observing the Frontier conference. I'm tremendously excited. We'll make the full public announcement in tomorrow's news, and she is not the only woman slated to come speak. But all good things in time. The podcast episode will post to suspiciousobservers.org in a few hours under the premium section, Fly on the Wall, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got pressure and radar forecast across the globe, an atmospheric chemistry run with null school and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.